All right, I am now in the front of the property of the Hilton Grand Vacations Kingsland. What you see in front of you is the entry uh, canopy where cars pull up and they park while they get checked in and everything. The front is just beautifully landscaped with this gorgeous pool with, of course, waterfalls. And I didn't check real closely, but I bet you they've got koi in there too. But it's just absolutely beautiful. You see some of the buildings out in the back. Those are some of the uh, well, timeshare units. Here we go. Now you'll hear construction sounds behind me. They're across the road on Waikoloa Beach Drive. I'm not certain what they're doing. Um, I don't know whether it's an addition to Kingsland. I'm really not certain. Okay, there's another portion. This is looking back to the units that were opened first. Um, uh, we are actually in building five, which I think is this building right here, right in front of my uh, finger. Uh, and we were the first ones two years ago to actually be in that room in building five. Okay, so let's go up into the entrance and take a look at the clubhouse. All right, again, a beautiful walking entry. I think there's something similar on the other side. We're going to come up on the left and we're going to actually go against traffic because I figure it's nice to see what's coming at me before it hits me. Okay, and again, here's the beautiful grand entry with a serene pool with water lilies. And of course, we've got our tiki torches. Yay, tiki torches! And looking back over. Again, this is an absolutely gorgeous property, well thought out. It kept it simple, uh, pretty much. There's, it's all luxury in the details, uh, but they don't go overboard with um, extra frou-frou, I guess you could say. All right, now here we go. This is the grand entry, as, we, as they say. Right in front of you is the Great Hall. And we'll see if we can go in there real quick when we get around to that thing. So here we go. This here is the bell cap desk to my right. There we go. And you come along over here. Again, it's all very open. Hawaii loves the open air type stuff, not enclosed. And here we go. Here's the front desk. Beautiful, beautiful colors in the back. At the moment, it's really quiet. They have um, fairly regular type check-ins uh, at certain times, so they don't have to go crazy manning the desk 24-7. Although there's always someone there ready to help you with a very good aloha spirit. Okay, so again, here we go. This through the check-in. Now coming through, this is the concierge desk. I'm not going to interrupt them because they're busy with clients. But again, look at the lovely detail over here with the rain, rain chains. They're, they're just really pretty. And then here's, I guess, the courtyard looking back towards the grand entry. absolutely beautiful and I really hope that this walkthrough is helpful to any prospective guest or owner because this is a gorgeous property and it deserves to be promoted. Okay, all right, well let's go and then take a quick turn around the Great Hall. Okay. Oh, air conditioned, of course. Now, like I said, in the mornings they have, and well, in the afternoons too, I think, they have exercise classes. They have, uh, I think you can schedule wedding receptions here too. I, I heard a gentleman mention that, I think yesterday. Don't quote me on it. It's a possibility. Okay, but it's a nice place to kick back and relax. There's, couple tables for playing chess and again look at the beautiful detail even up up top 
absolutely gorgeous and unusual chandelier with all the wood beams in the ceiling. Um, both Kingsland and the Kohala Suites, which is the older timeshare that we originally bought into, are beautifully and richly accented with wood. And it's just, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous properties. Very simple, elegant, and beautiful. And now I'm gonna go back out to the pool and join my husband and my daughter. So I hope you enjoy these uh, videos. Let Hilton know that they need to do more promotion of this sort. <laughs>